and this is another one that we have. Um, this is very popular with farmers. It has auxiliary. It can help to boost because why we do that, sir, is that for us, I know that the government is trying so hard to move people back to the farm. However, it's still not happening the way it should happen. And so we think that for a typical subsistence farmer, we need to improve their means of livelihood, improve their lives, you know, so that people can see. You know, Nigerians were a bit physical. We need to see. There has to be evidence. So if you are not a big time farmer, you shouldn't be poor. Farming should move away from being about poor people. This is why we think that there are two critical problems where we intervene. The problem of transportation and the problem of manual labor. So at Lavbat we have come up with products that can help farmers transport their goods out of the farm so that they can, there's so much that we lose, too much products get to waste from farmers because they have to wait for a car that you know, comes around maybe twice a week. You seem to have a very good business case in, in terms of um, the importance of what you produce, but do you have a market for it? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, the market is, is huge. Now, we look at it from even the practicality side of it. Now, what we offer, we offer cost-effective alternatives to doing business. Even at times like this when things are a bit tough in Nigeria, we insist that people should still be in business. This is why we do what we do. Now, for a fraction of what ordinarily people will have had to go for to buy the big tonnage vehicles that you need. Now, we're saying that for a minimal amount of, of money, you can still be in business and you can still be actively in business. So the market is huge. We have farmers, people that uh, market women, people that need to move things from point A to point B. There's market when it comes to the medical. The product that we have for medical, we think that is a solution for basic medical in Nigeria. Because as you can see, uh, basic medical is deficient because resources are scarce. And so this is what we are saying. Because resources are scarce, we can multiply what we have, the basic tools that we have, because we need to keep it as basic as possible. Now, because when you keep it as basic as possible, you think of cost of running, cost of maintenance, everything is minimal. So this is why we, we know that the market is very, there's so much interest in the products uh, that, that we do here and that we chunk out. Um, people are really interested, farmers, uh, farmers are they're beginning to see, they're beginning to understand that look, this is what they need. Because if you look at the countries that we can relate with, this is how they transit from poverty into, into wealth. All right, I, I would like you to talk about the production capacity that you have. Since the market is huge, like you said, uh, what is your own production capacity to, to be able to capture that market? How much of that market are you able to provide for? Okay, our production capacity here um, was set up to produce at least two a day, two tricycles in a day. And then if you multiply that by a month, we have like 60 a month. Mm. And if you multiply that by year, then it's substantial. Now, the beauty of our production capacity is the fact that the more market you have, right, the more, Absolutely. you know, the more it increases, you know. And um, so this is what we do. So right now we're scaled to do just that. Now, the market in the country is huge. Um, you know, for us, we partner with the NADDC and BOI, the Automotive Design and Development Council, that's under Ministry of Fed, uh, Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment. Um, now they know us, they are our parent body, and there's a lot going on about awareness because of what we do, because the amount of local content that we have. You realize now that there's the call for many Nigerian tricycle. We actually have it here. 
you know, our six passenger tricycle. It's beautifully designed, even with timelines to do so much more in Nigeria. So everybody is talking about our product right now and it's out there for people to see. Um, well designed, well structured to take care of this huge market. I see that you have a wide array of machinery here and you must have spent some, some money mm. acquiring this machinery. How, how did you acquire those? Hmm. Takes me back to the history how, of how we came to be. Um, BOI has been a good partner. So we started with a walk into the, they used to be called National Automotive Council, now NADDC that I spoke about. And um, they took us to BOI and we got the funds from BOI. So BOI actually purchased all these equipment for us and uh, we are very grateful. So BOI has actually enabled us to do real transfer of knowledge because we had our partners set us up and really impacted us with knowledge and we just took it off from there. And so most of the products that we did are a matter of design because we know the tools, we know the equipment and we know the solution that we want to provide. So we just combine everything together and come up with very beautiful products. I'd like you to run me through the machinery, the list of machinery that the Bank of Industry uh, assisted you in acquiring. It's a lot, but uh, very critical ones. Now, these this ones that you see suspended behind me, the, these are the ones that they call spot welders. Now, in the automotive industry, these are the things that you need for the kind of welding when you want to weld my steel together and uh, for seamless welding, not too much heat then we apply all this. So we have spot welders, different capacities that we use for different areas of welding. We use MIG uh, machines, MIG welders. We also got a couple of those ones um, through BOI. We also do welding through the regular metal arc welding. We do welding through oxyacetylene. So basically we're able to, our, weld, now our welding department alone we were able to acquire sports welders, MIG welders, metal arc welders, oxyacetylene through the support of the back of the industry. <laughs>